So I got a Tala haul for you guys. I really wanted to do this because they have this brand new collection called Dayflex and it looks so cute. I think what they've done with this is that it's basically, it's active wear but also it's like leisure wear so you can wear it out and about and it doesn't have to be necessarily a workout or gym. So yeah, I ordered this ages ago on pre-order and it's come now and I'm so excited to show you guys. I never really usually order stuff on pre-order. I don't know why. It's like if it's not there instantly then I like normally don't get it. But I think because of this, it, the stuff just looks so cute. I really wanted to try it out and I was really excited. So I ended up pre-ordering it and getting it and I'm happy I did because I think a lot of this stuff sold out But to be fair, I didn't sell out. I don't think it sold out ridiculously quickly Even though I was on the site when it launched so actually I don't know But oh one of the things that did sell out ridiculously quickly were these jumpers I managed to get my hands on one of these jumpers, but I get it because they're so cute I think they're a bit more like maybe retro or like vintage kind of thing, but they look so nice So yeah, those sold out really quickly But I think there's and then I think now there's a lot of stuff that sold out But I did see on Instagram that they had a few things back in stock and they're trying to Gauge like how many people like want it because I think with them I think what they do is like in the beginning they have their launch and see how successful it is and how much people want it So if people want more of it, then they keep it as a staple thing But I think for now it might be in like a limited thing But I'm not too sure so maybe like double check that on Instagram or something So today what I wanted to do for this video is just try on all of it Tell you what I think of it give you a little review telling you all the things that you want to know Also, let me know in the comments if you have any other extra questions if I don't answer it in this video But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, this looks really cute okay i'm very excited this is really reminding me of like lululemons and they had this before of like the um what's it called it was the um lux yeah the with their lux collection that was kind of like lululemon vibes as well but this is giving me more lululemon vibes and the material is just so nice and soft so i got this in the green color which i think it's called was it sage? Yeah, sage green. I love a sage green and this sage green looks beautiful. It's just so nice and like subtle. I'll let you guys see that. It is so nice. I really like this color. I got it in a size small and it was the wraparound ones. I thought those look really cute. I think that could look quite like cute for your waist as well when it's that V kind of shape, like quite flattering. The material feels so soft and smooth. It's like a kind of buttery feel to it. I think the logo looks so like dainty. I love a dainty kind of subtle look. It's embroidered on as well. I don't know how they, it's like so small. It's so small, especially for being embroidered. And then I got the matching bra with it. It's just really nice and kind of like muted green, like your everyday kind of green. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this is the sports bra I got. They had like the V1 and this one, but I thought I'd like prefer maybe this style a bit more. Um, oh, and again, a cute little logo saying Tala. And you can see here like more of the color. It's so nice and soft. Oh my gosh, I feel like every time I sit on my leg, it just goes to sleep. Oh, I feel like I'm back in assembly. Then I got this one in a size small as well. I still find it quite cute how with the tag, you can actually plant it and it turns into a little plant, which is really cute. Never tried it before, but maybe I should try that one time. Putting this on, it feels so smooth and so nice. I was surprised, because I feel like I've tried on a lot of active wear, so I can kind of get used to stuff. But this bra, this bra is like the best bra I've put on in so long. And usually I'm not really into kind of sports bras. I know why, normally I don't really care for sports bras. I'm like, as long as they just kind of fit and they're supportive, then I don't really care because I don't really work out in a sports bra. I normally have like, and like a t-shirt covering it but i feel like recently though i've really been getting into like cute sports bras and like matching and everything like that like, like my vital seam that's from gymshark i've been wearing that a lot this fits so nicely and this feels so supportive like it doesn't feel like you know i don't know some of them like even my vital seamless that is low support and like the band and stuff like i feel like Sometimes I do feel like they're gonna fall out, <laughs> but with this, these feel secure, like strapped in. And it doesn't feel too tight that I feel like I can't breathe or anything. I think it's like the core collection, like the, the, the first one. Some of the stuff, I feel like it's just too tight for me. And for me, I lo love stuff like this. It's more lightweight, it's very breathable. It's like I can move around, I don't feel restricted at all. Um, and with that, because it was more compression. And for me, I'm just not really a, like a compression kind of girl. I feel like it's good for me personally to have like one compression leggings or maybe two max, but the rest I like it to be really like flexible and movable and stuff. I feel like for the top bit, maybe it was like the long sleeve. And I think I did, I said it in my review as well when I did that, I just felt too tight. So I'd either have to like size up or oh, that's just not my, it's just not for me kind of thing. But this is like perfect. And the back of the bra looks like this. 
it is so nice and i feel like this band as well this sort of really helps put it together this is really reminding me of the with the luxe collection that bra if you haven't seen that haul i'll put it up there amazing like 10 out of 10 that bra is so nice and that's that i think this is why i'm loving this so much because it's giving me those vibes of that one onto the leggings now i haven't shaved my stomach so it's a bit hairy but we'll ignore that so the leggings here i love the little band i think the band i think the band looks really cute and i think it does help with the illusion of they say when you have like a v kind of shape it kind of brings in your waist a bit more so it makes you look a bit more like hourglassy but yeah and the leggings feel really good very movable and see if they're squat proof or not i am wearing like bright pink knickers by the way so obviously if you want to kind of avoid that i don't just wear like seamless underwear or like skin colored underwear or whatever or no underwear i know people kind of do that as well i feel like for me i can't really get away with it like i've tried it and it just doesn't work for me so i can't do that and for me it was squat proof i feel like I'd say maybe like 95% squat proof for me personally, in this colour particularly. Um, I think everyone's different with that, it all depends on like your body shape and the type of knickers you wear and stuff like that, but you can see here it comes up to here and me, really nice scent that I'm 5'7 for reference. It's called Mineral Blue. Now, Mineral Blue and the Sage Green was the only two ones that I was really interested in. I always go for a black, so if I want to go for more of colour, those two are definitely it. I think the other one was like a grey, which it was like, which was nice, but I definitely preferred the blue and the green. So yeah, we got this, and this is just like the normal waistband, like at the top. And the little logo here. With this, I got, and obviously you can mix and match and stuff, but just to be extra matchy, I got the vintage jumper thing. Let me see what it's actually called, because I keep on calling it a vintage jumper. I don't even know if it is one or not. It's a volley sweatshirt. So yeah, got the volley sweatshirt, and it looks like this. Oh, it just, it looks so cozy and I'm really into hoodies and like sweatshirts and everything like that. I got this one recently and I have not taken it off. I normally go for quite like cheaper hoodies and stuff, but after wearing this and the quality on this, I, I was like, I need to upgrade that. I need to upgrade to like good quality jumpers and stuff because it just, it feels so different. So I got this and I love the little like logo of it saying Tala. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, and it's like an oversized hoodie as well. It looks quite big and I got this in a size small i want to say oh no i got size medium yeah i got size medium because i quite like an oversized look and i think this is meant to be oversized anyways but yeah so we'll try these two on next so here's the second set that i got on now with these leggings i feel like i don't know why but i kind of see it more in these than the other ones but there is a camel toe going on and i'm not talking just about like the hump like individual camels are going on here so that is a bit annoying i don't really know what you can do with stuff like that i guess it just happens with certain leggings i guess i had it a bit with the green but not really as much as like these ones so i don't know if it's the type of leggings where because it's a v that does anything or whatever to be fair i did see on instagram that i think grace put like a statement about camel toe or something and it was really long so i couldn't be able to read it but i am going to read it because i'm curious of what she has to say about it because i think she's had people say about the camel toe in some of the collections in these kind of leggings also another thing actually i wanted to say was with these i actually feel like i could size down in them maybe as well if i wanted it tighter i probably could but actually thinking about it with the camel toe situation i feel like if i went smaller that could make it worse so i'm not sure but the waistband fits like quite nicely so if i wanted it to be a bit more snatched definitely could size down now this jumper it's a really interesting jumper i've never bought a taller jumper before i really like the style of it so it's a bit thinner it's not a very like thick jumper so i guess you could literally work out on this too and you won't overheat too much if the inside is that warm fur do you know what i'm talking about that fleecy fur it's so nice and so soft and the little hand bits it's like smaller here that i noticed it's kind of high neck ish and i love that the branding I love, it's embroidered on, and I love how long the arms are. I have long arms in general, so I love it when jumpers have long arms, and it does, it's like very long arms, and it just looks really nice. And then it's kind of like a shorter body kind of thing, so you can kind of, I think people like to tuck it up and do that. Did you get anything from this collection? Like, please comment down below, because I'm curious to see what you guys got. What did you think of it? Did you like it? So I'm trying to think of like bad sides of this, and the only thing I can think of is the camera toe situation. But apart from that, I love it. <laughs> like, I love the colour, I love the fit, I love the feel. The rest of it is so nice, so... Yeah, I think that this collection is a really good one. So I'm so happy she like, came out with it. And I hope she does keep it as like a collection and not as just like a limited edition thing. 
Unless I'm getting this completely wrong and it's not a limited edition, but I'm pretty sure it is. Make sure you subscribe as well if you want to see the other videos I've got out. I know there's like a Gymshark one I want to do because they have cute pieces that are going to be coming out soon. And also from Honor Active as well because she's released out a new collection too. So I'm really excited to review all this stuff, which is going to be coming up probably more in like, coming up in more in like March or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye! Oh, I think next Wednesday is going to be a weekly vlog, which I'm really excited for. So yeah, see you next Wednesday. Bye!